Hi church family, Pastor Dan here and to visitors, welcome to our devotional channel here at Rockhampton Baptist. Now sometimes we, uh, we get distracted, distracted by our circumstances. Distracted sometimes by routine, mundane things and, and sometimes we, we miss out on the opportunities that, that God has for us. But at some stage those routine mundane things were, were new to you. It was something you decided to do and something that you, uh, you went and did before they become the routine. And some new things are, are good and, and beneficial for us, but some, some are not and, and should be stopped or even changed after a certain amount of system, season. Now there's wisdom that the Spirit gives. There's wisdom that the Spirit gives to decide which camp that fits in, in the beneficial or something that is not beneficial for us. So I want to draw you to Judges 3 today and we'll We'll look about that. Now, Judges is not necessarily an encouraging book most of the time. It's more of a bit of a spiral down into despair for the, uh, for the Israelites. But there are helpful lessons in this time to draw from that are beneficial for us. So I want to draw you to Judges chapter 3, verses 7. And it says, And the people of Israel did what was evil in the sight of the Lord, they forgot the Lord their God, and they served the Baals and Asheroth. Therefore the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel, and he sold them into the hand of Cushon Rishathan, the king of Mesopotamia. And the people of Israel served Cushon Rishathan eight years. But when the people of Israel cried out to the Lord, the Lord raised up a deliverer for the people of Israel, who saved them, Othniel, the son of Kenaz, Caleb's younger brother. And the Spirit of the Lord was upon him, and he judged Israel. And he went out to war, and the Lord gave Cusham Rishathim, the king of Mesopotamia, into his hand. And his hand prevailed uh, over Cusham Rishathim. So the land had rest forty years. Then Othniel, the son of Kenaz, died. Now what's important to note here as, as we look at that, this little section of Israel's history is that they did evil in the sight of the Lord. So it may have not been evil at that point in that time. Your know, sin and something that we do wrong is only a sin if it goes against God's way of life. You know, the country surrounding Israel, you know, would have said that, ah, oh, worshipping Baals and Asheroths are good and beneficial for your life. And so at some stage, these people in Israel, somebody decided that this potentially new thing could be beneficial for us. Worshipping these other gods might complement as we worship the Lord our God. And it may have seemed good to them at the time, but it obviously wasn't. I'm encouraged by most of our church as uh, we're, we're excited and we're willing to try things new, to look for different ministries and opportunities that we have. But it's often we've got to watch it sometimes and be careful that even in the smallest things that we decide to do as a church or even individually in our lives, some of the small decisions, we've got to ask the question, is it beneficial in my relationship with God? Because some of these small decisions can lead to something larger and can be harmful. For the Israelites, this decision to, to follow these Baals, now maybe it might have been a small decision or a big decision, um, it led to eight years in oppression. Eight years where they were oppressed by these people. But don't let that stop you from trying new things though. Often if it, we see this and we go, okay, well then I just won't try new things. But don't let that stop. What we see here is that the Spirit of the Lord was upon Othniel. And what we know is that the Spirit of the Lord helps us to make good decisions. As the Holy Spirit is inside of us, we can rely on that and use Him to direct us so that the decisions that we make are good decisions, so that we're not led into things that God is not calling us to. So as we make new decisions or as we reflect and look at the decisions that we have made, Make sure that you're relying on the Spirit of God. 
This is an incredible gift that we have, the Spirit, to use it. For the Israelites at this time, only certain people uh, had the privilege of the Spirit filling them and for specific purposes. But we have that for us. So be encouraged by that and use that gift. It's an incredible gift we have. So let me pray for you today. Lord, help us today as we, um, as we look at the decisions, maybe even the small ones or the big ones that you have for us. Lord, help us to rely on the Spirit of God as we start these new things, as we look at what you have for us. Lord, in the, uh, in the little things that we do have, Lord, help us to make the right decisions. Maybe there's things we need to, to change, to draw closer to you. Lord, fill, your, fill us with your Spirit so that we can see these things. Give us spiritual eyes to see these things. Give us a spiritual heart uh, to be led into these things so that we can step more into your will and, and your direction in our lives. Amen. Keep walking with God. Talk to him. Let him talk back as you read the Bible. That's relying on the Spirit, allowing him to speak to you and to allow you to trust and obey what he has to say. Keep looking for opportunities to bless others, people, and encourage them in the Holy Spirit as well. We'll see you soon.